This game is not suited for people under the legal age. While no sensitive material will be displayed, there is a ton of sexual references and adult language. Yes, I win am playing an adult game. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Win, and I am now playing Honeypop. Now, instead of me just telling you what this game is, you can probably tell what kind of game it is based on, you know, the the title screen right now with really uh, basically sexy ladies on the screen, scantily clad as you can see with the person in the middle, but we're going to go and click start. Now this is quite a unique game actually. And we, um, one thing you can do is you can start as a male or start as a female. Now that doesn't change who you date. You can still, you still date these people and yeah, this game's a dating game. So let's do, let's go and start as a male. Hi there. What? Who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, oh. Sorry, I just don't talk to many girls. Well, you're talking to one now, champ. <laughs> My name is Q. Nice to meet you. Q? You mean like the letter? Nope, not like that at all. Look, dude, are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. What do you mean? I'm fine. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Oh, man. Um, is it that obvious? I could see how uncomfortable you are right now from space. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, man, this is your lucky day, buddy! Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do! I said, get up! Alright, alright, I'm up, I'm... Uh... Am I gonna have to pull the covers off? Wait, who are you? Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar! Uh, yeah, but you had brown hair. Also, no wings. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. Okay, but fairies aren't actually a thing. A <laughs> common misconception. I assure you that fairies are indeed a thing. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Aww. I'm still actually having a hard time accepting the whole fairy thing. It kind of crushes my reality, if you know what I mean. <sighs> it's fine, just go with it. It's gonna be great. We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Uh, you mean like actual dates with physical girls? Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. Wait, what? We're going on a date already? I mean, that was awfully quick. Okay, fine. Love fairy. Sure. Alright, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Okay, that seems easy enough. Now, you guys looking at this, you're immediately thinking, what the hell is this? This isn't a dating game. 
this is why this game's kind of unique. It's a dating game, but it has this bejeweled-like element to it. So it's basically match three. Or more. See? Easy! Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. So one thing that is different from Bejeweled is instead of moving it to simply the adjacent ones, you can actually move it in, well, either horizontally completely or vertically completely, or anywhere in between. So long as at least, so long as your movement at least makes three things or more connect. So I can move this down here and that'll keep those things in that position. Obviously they'll fall down when I do this, but I can move them. So let's go ahead and do this. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh right, let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Hey! Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. So here we go. As I mentioned before, you can move it any number of squares so long as it's either up, down, left, or right. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Now you see that just gave us sentiment. One sentiment for each one of the things that were popped. So let's go and give her the stuffed bear. Um, the stuffed bear converts all broken heart tokens into passion tokens. There we go. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. Oh, good to know that. I mean, that's generally a nice thing to know. So since we can't fail this, we can basically do whatever the hell we want with this. So long as we... well, it doesn't matter if we match up three of these hearts. The primary goal is, if you haven't guessed, to fill up this meter. If you match three of a certain type apart from these um, joy tokens, it'll give you points. The joy tokens, the passion tokens, and these heart tokens, they don't actually give you any progress towards this. So one technique that is quite useful is you can move one thing a few squares and as you can see now if I move it here then I will get rid of those passion tokens and those flirtation tokens. There we go. That is always so satisfying when that happens, it's amazing. So let's just continue on with this. I would like to somehow get a thing over here but I can also... Yeah, let's move that down there, and then we can move that over there. Now we can move this... Uh, should we do this? Can we move anything over here across? We can indeed move things over here across. Let's move that up there. Uh, let's... Let's do this. Wait. Yeah, let's do this first. And then we can move this along... wait... Okay, well, I can't remember what it was that I wanted to do. Ah yes, I wanted to move this over here. And we don't have any blue tokens in this corridor. I was hoping that we get a blue token in this column right here by matching those things that we just matched up there. But that didn't work. So let's go and match those up there. And let's just keep going. Now this is actually a very fun game. There is... wait. 
One thing I need to mention after this. Let's let the lady talk. Nice! See, I knew you had it in ya! Oh shit! It's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you. And this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology. The Honey Bee 4.0. Ooh. The Honey Bee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the Honey Bee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or, if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. <laughs> Go ahead, break that bad boy open. So, right-click brings up this. This gives you things like the girl finder. We haven't met any girls yet, and this fairy is, you know, a fairy, so yeah. Also, this gives us the list of the girls that we can meet. This is any messages that they send us. This is our inventory. We start off with a tissue box, which is a special item, and a dirty magazine. No, it's not dirty because it has dirt on it. It's dirty because of the things inside it. And no, it hasn't got dirt inside it either. This is the store. You can purchase a bunch of things from here. As you can see, up here we have money, which we got from that date we just had. And we can spend it on these things. Now, this might look very confusing right now. It's like, how do you know what to buy? You'll find out eventually. We can also get food and drinks. These are our traits. As we get points up here, I think these are called honey points, we can spend them on these things. And as you can see, we have nothing, so we can't actually upgrade anything. And we also have settings. So this is as you'd expect. You can change the volume, you can change the voiceover, you can even change the voice to boops if you want, which literally makes the, um, makes the characters go beep beep beep, basically. But why would you want that when you actually have pretty good voice acting in this game? The voice acting in this game is very good. I, that's one of the many things that I'd praise this game over. Now we have um, screen view, we have full screen, we have windowed, and these things change the resolution of the window. Um, particle limit, difficulty, easy, normal, hard, and your gender. You can change your character's gender at any point. It changes each girl's sexual orientation to match yours. So if you're male, all the girls will be hetero. If you're female, all the girls will be homo. And that also affects some of the dialogue inside the game as well. Okay, great! I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. I'm not ready! Please don't What's make that? me do this! I didn't hear you. Did you say, hell yeah? Or we can just chill here and play video games. I said, let's go talk to some broads. Ah, uh, hell yeah, let's do this. That's what I like to hear. Now, if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Hmm, so I don't know what we should go for. The university campus is a pretty good bet, I think. The shopping mall, you'd expect to find, you know, the typical females there. The cafe, I don't really know. You'd probably find like more sophisticated people there, I suppose. Um, the Dawnwood Park, probably like nature lovers or people like that. And the fitness clubs, fitness freaks, I believe. We're gonna go for the university campus. Wait, are we? I don't know, I'm tempted to go for the park actually. Either university campus or the park. You know what, let's go for the university Good campus. Good choice, Rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. Alright, ready? Get your game face on. And we're off. Oh, Miss Yumi, I'm glad I ran into you. Have you had a chance to grade our exams yet? Uh, remind me what that was on again? You know, the conservation of whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think those are on my desk. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Do you know when you might be able to get them back to us? 
Later. Next week, probably. I'm sure you did fine, Tiffany. You think? I hope so. I don't know, I was having trouble with some of the material. Do you know what we're going over next week? I'd like to try and get a head start this time. Next week? I don't know yet. Actually, I have a pounding headache right now. Can we do this later, please? Yeah, okay. Sorry to bother you, Miss Yumi. No, it's fine. I'll talk to you later. Whoa, is this chick serious? That schoolgirl uniform is a little on the nose, don't you think? Yep. She's cute, though. Blonde, too, so, uh, bonus points. Oh, yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. This is your classic girl next door situation. She's nice, so don't say anything to scare her off. But don't be afraid to take a chance. Great, so don't do one thing but do the other thing instead. Sorry, do one thing but do the other thing at the same time. Great. Um, so we've approached this lady. Uh, hey, don't take this the wrong way, but I thought you were cute and I just had to say hi. Who? Me? <laughs> oh no, I'm so not cute. But thanks for the compliment. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you starting this semester? Oh, I actually teach here. They call me Professor Handsome. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Stop teasing me. Oh, sorry, am I holding you up from class? No, don't worry about it. I'm all done with classes for now. My name is Tiffany, by the way. It's nice to meet you. You seem like a cool guy. Hopefully I'll see you around campus. No way! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. And this is where the main... Um, interface of the game comes in. When you speak to a girl, you get these options. So you can talk with her, ask her on a date, view your inventory, girl finder, check the, check the profile of the girl that you're currently, currently looking at, and the purchase gift option. And these, let's bring you back to this. So we got a message from Q, so let's take a look at what this message is. Before I forget the money you earn during our date, you can use that to buy gifts, food and drinks using the store app on the Honey Bee. It'll even detect which gifts the girl you're talking to prefers and will mark them with an icon. We've practically done all the work for you. So if we go into purchase gifts, you can see that the Baby Binky? I think that- wow, really? Baby Binky. That's a pacifier. Seriously. And that's apparently a rave gift. I have no idea anymore, but we can buy that, and she will like it. Oh my god, how cute is this? No, I wouldn't actually, you know, suggest going up to a random person and immediately giving them a gift in order to try and impress them. Normally, you'd probably want to talk to them first. Something on your mind? Uh, this is random, but how tall are you? I wish I was taller. I'm only five foot four. Yeah, always lead with the how tall are you question when you're speaking with a new person. It gets them every single time. Also, don't take my advice because I am being extraordinarily sarcastic. Question time! What are your thoughts on school? I mean, going to college. I love the academic environment. I wish school never ended. I know, right? There's something about the academic setting that I love. Oh, chicken bacon. <laughs> oh, I can't believe she just said that. Um, what do you study in college? Well, I haven't really decided on a major yet, so I'm just getting my core classes out of the way. So let's check this message again. 
Pay attention to the appetite meter. A girl gets hungry standing around chatting all day. If she's hungry, check the store to see if there's any food item that she might like. So that represents this here. This down here is, you know, how drunk she is, basically. And this is her affection. So we, I'm not going to actually um, spend any more time here. I'm going to go and find the other girl. I'll see you later. 